Batman Spider-Man is all about the bootleg versions of Batman and Spider-Man on the Mondo YouTube channel which hosts a wide variety of animations. However, this particular show has grown a following over the years with hundreds of thousands of views per episode. The series was made by Lindsay Small and Alex Butera who eventually started a Kickstarter to help fund the rest of the series. Which I've gotta say, that's a lot of people. But why? Why are so many people funding what appears to be a poorly script written mess of an animation? This is Batman. Hey Batman, I'm Spider-Man. Hi. Wanna watch a movie? Okay, but my boots are all sticky. Oh, that's okay. I believe this is your sandwich. Oh yeah, that's mine. I believe that there's more than meets the eye. Right off the bat, we can tell that these two characters are obviously a ripoff of Batman and Spider-Man, right? At first glance, I would think so, which is why I think that the first episode has 4.6 million views, but then again, it has been around for 8 years. And I'll even admit, the show is pretty stupid. It's okay, Tuba. You can be in the next band. Yet it is now, by far, my favorite animation series on all of YouTube, and there are a few reasons why. First off, I like Batman and Spider-Man, which is why I was drawn to the show in the first place, even though watching the first episode made me confused as ever. When you first watch it, the script writing feels effortless. One for peanuts, two for tubas, three for house! And the animations are just... well... I don't really know how to explain it. But even still, I just kept watching. The second reason is that there are literally no theories on YouTube about this whatsoever, which I'm both surprised and not surprised by this. Surprised because there are so many things in the show that just aren't explained, leading you to make your own conclusion. And not surprised because not a lot happens in season one, so I guess people just got bored of it and didn't stay till the end, deeming this show as ridiculously stupid. But seriously, no theories at all? I'm still kind of shocked by that. So much so that I looked it up and found two things. One, a theory on DeviantArt, and two, a link to a wikia.com page, which is about a few things here and there, but not about the entirety of the series. Even before looking this up, I've been attempting to make a theory of my own, which is a lot more difficult than you can imagine. At the surface, this show looks like nothing more than a lazy bootleg version of two copyrighted characters. However, as the series goes on, you can tell that there's gotta be a deeper meaning. Or maybe there isn't, and I'm just thinking about this way too much. The third reason is that it is so random, it's funny. Kinda like ASDF movies. I like trains. I'd like to say it's on the same level of randomness as ASDF movie, except Batman Spider Man has a storyline, and ASDF movie really doesn't. ASDF movie is random just to be funny. Wait a minute. If something is random, does that automatically make it funny? Well no, because if I yelled BEEF SHAKES out loud, I'm sure nobody would laugh. I would like to first start off with talking about the two links that I mentioned earlier. On the wikia.com page, the two topics that we see are about the origin of Ghost and those guys. For the origin of Ghost, and I quote, <coughs> <coughs> Ghost was created when Red Scrib broke the Happy Winter Friends wand in Play the Song. Which is obvious since that's literally what happened in the show. So yes, that one is probably true. The only way I see this being classified as a theory is because they never explain it to you in the show, which I'm totally fine with. In the show, there are a lot of moments that happen just like that without explanation, which is another reason that I really like this show. The other topic is about Those Guys, or The Other Guys, short film T, which is made by Those Guys, or The Other Guys. In the short film, we see Tuba's dad for a second next to Those Guys. It's been speculated that Those Guys talked to Tuba's dad to help create the journey for Revelations Part 2. Using this tactic, they attempt to become friends with Batman, Spider-Man, and Pumpkin, which works since literally everybody in the show becomes friends with each other. And now we have another link, a theory by Flutterlicious20. <clears throat> oh wow, that's some... Um... That's a lot of words. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Basically, the beginning attempts to explain Wanda and Pizza, and then goes into a theory about how the world was hit with a form of radiation, making all the inanimate objects and things come to life, and mostly focusing on the story of Tuba. Link will be in the description if you're interested in that. At least that person could actually come up with a theory, unlike me. To be fair, I have been trying to think of a theory for this for so long, 
and the only thing I can come up with is that the entire series takes place in a child's imagination. This would make sense why the main characters are poorly drawn versions of popular superheroes with different names. Why Batman has bones but he can do this, because apparently he's a blob as well. Why talking objects are a thing. Why Batman has a relationship with a tuba. Why the dialogue seems as if no effort was put into it. Why the series ends up making more sense the longer it goes, because it could be a representation of the child getting older and more mature as he ages. This makes more sense now that I say it out loud. And that's what I call a gem of the internet. Have you found any interesting video series on the internet? If so, let me know in the comments and I may end up making a video about it.